Welcome to Explaining the Plays. I'm Uncorrupt. This video is going to be basically a gameplay guide. I'm going to be explaining my plays as I'm playing Frost Death Knight. I'm also going to be trying to explain what my opponent is trying to do. Right off the bat, it looks like we're up against the Death Knight. Keeping in mind, you know, that it could always be a rogue. Got to try to remember that. Uh, we're going to keep one of our one drops and then we're going to mulligan everything else here. This deck code is going to be in the description of the video if you would like it. And you're going to notice that this deck is a little bit different than probably some of the other Frost DK decks that you've seen. And really the goal of the deck has really just been trying to make it a little bit faster, pack in a little bit more uh, aggro cards, and be able to kill our opponent sooner. Mainly because the two strongest decks in the meta are Quest DH and of course Miracle Rogue. And pretty straightforward, we're just going to play our one drop here. Pass turn to our opponent. And unfortunately, we don't really have any good options here uh, for a turn two. This guy definitely goes face. I'm not, not really interested, I don't think, in using the icy touches on my opponent's face uh, at this time. So I'm just going to hero power and then pass turn back. Um, ideally, you know, having a two drop like a death chiller or a harbinger of winter would have been just a really good play there. And uh, unfortunately, not the case. We see our opponent is playing Astalor. This is probably a version of the deck that uh, you would be more familiar with if you keep up with Frost Death Knight decks. Um, this card is actually just a little bit too slow, and so that's why we have cut it from our version of the deck. So we do need to keep in mind that on turn 7, they're going to be able to gain 5 armor, but uh, it's unlikely that they're ever going to be able to play that 8 drop. I'm expecting this game to be over before they would ever be able to play the 8-mana version of the Astalor. And is it Thessarian? Okay, so it's actually a rogue here. Um, I was thinking that this might actually be another Frost Death Knight. Uh, they do run Astalor. We're actually going to be playing against Rogue here, so again, uh, we're just trying to go as fast as possible. Uh, they could potentially have some Knolls coming down here. That would be bad um, if they're able to remove our board this early. Um, ideally, with this deck, we're playing minions early, and we're damaging our opponent's face. And then we're finishing off our opponent a little bit later on in the game with our damaging spells here. Pretty likely our opponent is going to have at least one null. Hopefully we don't see the double null here. But if they even just have one, they're going to be clearing our board. At which point uh, we're likely just going to be frost striking. And uh, hopefully having you know something playable to be able to get a minion back on the board. And we actually see that our opponent has no Null. Which is interesting. So I think this turn we definitely want to equip the weapon. Again, we have no minion. So one of the things that we could potentially do here would be to attack our opponent with this. And Frost Strike our own minion. To be able to draw a card and uh, create a card. But I don't think we want to do that in this situation. Ideally we want this guy to be able to hit again, or we want our opponent to have to do something to remove it. Um, could potentially blow up in our face if we leave it on the board and they're able to serrate a bone spike. That would allow them to be able to cheat out a little mana and maybe do some other things. But I think that... Uh, I think that we want to keep... They're at 19. Yeah, I think we just want to try to uh, keep a minion on the board... And I'm just going to go ahead and use an Icy Touch here. I'm trying to spend my mana every turn and get in as da damage as much as possible. On turn 6, we'll be playing uh, Frigidara. That's going to draw us two more Frost Spells. And if the Rogue isn't able to make a really big board um, and start attacking with it before we get to turn 7, then uh, we could actually be in, in pretty decent shape here. Looks like they are going to be getting down... Uh, some type of stealth minion. We'll have to see just how big it is. It's only a 4-4. That's not all that intimidating. And I can actually swing into the knoll here. I could go like a Death Chiller, swing into the knoll, and Frost Strike. Other option would be to get this guy on the board. I might want to prioritize actually putting the 2-drop on the board, draw a Frost Spell. It's either going to be damage or it could be a Frost Worm's Fury that's going to be, you know, potentially coming out soon. Likely also want to try to be able to set up some type of uh, minions being removed with the Overseer Frigidara here. 
Could even just Howling Blast on this guy now. Definitely want to get you down. And uh, maybe we actually just play the Death Chiller. We're going to Icy Touch here, just so that minion can't attack. And then we're going to punch our opponent in the face. Opponent down to 14 now. Um, next turn, this will be able to remove the Null, so the Null will never get to attack again unless they're able to Shadow Step it again. Keeping in mind, they do have the Astalor for turn 7. We know that's going to potentially gain them 5 armor. Likely, we're just going to keep to our game plan, though, of uh, drawing some additional Frost Spells on turn 6. And hopefully, Frostworm's Fury going to be on turn 7. We're able to freeze our opponent's board on turn 7 against this rogue deck. It's unlikely that they'll be able to kill us. We know that all their damage is going to be coming from the board. And uh, they've actually... Maybe a little bit slow from the rogue this game. I feel like uh, a lot of games, they're actually... Uh, move more quickly than this. They won't be able to make another ghost until next turn. At which point, they'll probably be trying to, you know, play as many cards as possible. Okay, so they're getting a ghost this turn. Glacial advance, 4-4 four, four coming down. We know they're not going to be able to kill us. Um, we want to count our damage just so we know. We have 3-6, uh, we have 10 damage. Ten is obviously not enough. Plus, I don't think we have enough mana to be able to play that. That would be three, four, seven. We'll be able to get ten next turn. Um, there's no real way that we can set up lethal because we can't do four this turn. So I'm just going to go ahead and play the uh, Overseer here. And you can see that we hit a Frost Strike and a Horn of Winter. And I'm actually considering using the Horn of Winter and a Frost Strike... Maybe on the 4-1. It prevents us from taking damage. And uh, maybe also protects our 5-6 a little bit. And... It's interesting. Deal 2 and draw a card, but it's not good, right? Maybe it is. We're going to take Thessarian, though. We know for sure Thessarian is a good card here, so when in doubt, I'm going to fall back on choosing the card that I know is good, and I know that this card is good. Howling Blast kind of gives us the opportunity to be able to freeze some minions on the board if we need to. Frost Strike is removal, so pretty much our opponent has to be able to remove the 5-6. They know that they can't take damage off of that, which likely means that they're not going to be able to uh, deal damage to our face, or at least not as much damage to our face, and that's another reason why it was important for me to remove that other minion with the Frost Strike last turn. And a really weak turn from our opponent here, uh, having to play a full-costed Stenographer. So at this point, um, we still can't kill our opponent, we only have 10 damage. So I'm going to go ahead and get down the Thessarian. And uh, we're just going to go ahead and put down the Harbinger of Winter here. So again, this is going to draw us another Frost Spell. Could be damage. And likely we're just killing our opponent next turn. There's the uh, 5 health gain that we were expecting. And can they remove minions? No concoctions in hand from our opponent just yet. And we see the ghosts come down. Chillfall and Baron is the pickup. So we have five on board and we have ten in hand, so we're actually still two off. Just gonna go ahead and take this trade, I think. Draw a frost spell. It's becoming more and more likely that we're gonna be able to hit one of these Frostworms Furies. And you can see that we actually hit that here. So we're going to hit our opponent in the face, freeze the board, and then push the 3 damage. And then certainly next turn we'll definitely be able to kill our opponent, uh, unless they run scabs, which I don't think any of these rogue decks are running scabs. The hero card here, they have 9, we still have uh, the 10 damage in hand from the frost spells that we have available. So 
Uh, definitely pretty confident that we have lethal next turn. We're at 20 health. Our opponent's board is frozen, so we know we're safe. We've set up lethal for the following turn, so everything should be good here. I don't think there's anything they can do. Um, even if they're able to remove our board, we do still have just the damage in hand to be able to finish them off. So uh, things going pretty well this game. And uh, our opponent, though, I will say that in this particular game, our opponent, uh, their draw was not very good. They didn't hit any of their concoction cards. Uh, the Knolls maybe came a little bit late. So it looks like our opponent probably low rolls. You know, let's be honest about where we're at in the game. Um, that being said, I do believe that we navigated our side of the game as well as we possibly could. Uh, so, you know, this is maybe a situation where Hearthstone is basically giving me a win. Again, just, you know, keeping it real, being honest here. But I also didn't screw it up and throw it away because I was thinking about my plays, making sure that I was doing the things that I needed to do to be able to win. Opponent's actually going to be healing for an additional five here. But I believe we should still have the damage to kill our opponent. Uh, that's unfortunate. And we actually don't have enough damage to kill them. They're at 14. And we still have just 10. So I'm going to start off with the Frost Strike on the 4-1. We're going to have to try to survive a little bit. And uh, Might of Minifil is just a really good pickup here. I'm going to go ahead and equip this. That's going to freeze the minions on the board. We're going to punch our opponent. And... I guess I'm just going to go ahead and play the Chill Fall and Baron. No real reason here to freeze my opponent's face with a Howling Blast. Uh, they can play the Astalor, but it's only going to be 8 damage coming out. And we have a 4 damage weapon equipped and 10 damage in hand. So again, expecting to be able to kill our opponent next turn. And they actually have been able to just keep dragging it out, which is bad news for us. But uh, really, this is what I call just artificially extending the game. Um, our opponent was able to make the game go longer, but they never really had a realistic chance of being able to win this game. We were just in the driver's seat the entire time. Back in for another game here. Uh, just one quick note, usually when I do these Explaining the Plays videos, I like to queue up consecutive games just because I feel like an organic experience offers the best opportunity for explaining and, uh, you know, just really seeing what you can actually expect in a real ladder experience. Uh, my last opponent, though, actually conceded um, before turn one, even before the mulligan, so that's why you're going to notice a difference in the rank here. I actually won a game without doing anything. Up against Paladin this time, I'm just going to go ahead and assume that it's Paladin. I'm going to toss the uh, Corporal here. Uh, the Corporal's really just like 5 damage face. Um, I feel like I'd rather have something just a little bit better on turn 2, maybe. Uh, specifically, I'd like to have a uh, Harbinger of Winter. We're going to go ahead and get our Slew of Spear down and then pass turn. Hoping for something to do on turn 2. And we're going to be looking to find out, are we actually against... A paladin or is it going to potentially be a rogue um, we're equipping the weapon here question is are we swinging and I'm actually gonna hold the weapon swing here so the reason why I'm holding the weapon swing is because this could be a paladin and if it is I might actually need the weapon to be able to fight for the board we see here that it's a rogue um, there's a lot of rogues out on the ladder you've probably been seeing them yourself and uh, they got the good start, Potion Belt on two, uh, but no Null. And unfortunately for us, we actually don't really have a play that we want to make this turn. So a really slow start from us. And so I'm going to continue to hold the weapon charge. Um, to be honest, if our opponent would have had a Null there, it likely actually just ends the game, especially if they had double Null. You can see here our opponent is able to get down a minion, so I'll be able to swing into that. Still going to two, uh, two damage face. Chill Fallen Baron is the pickup here. So I think we definitely just want to go ahead and play this guy. We're also going to have to keep in mind that our opponent is going to have access to a little bit of burst thanks to these arcane bolts. So let's see what we draw here with the Chill Fallen Baron. 
Um, we hit a Frost Strike, so I'm actually going to uh, Horn of Winter to get this Frost Strike out. That's going to let me clear the board. And I think I just want damage. The damage slash freeze. And then we'll uh, just go ahead and push through the damage here. So, again, if our opponent doesn't draw Knolls, then uh, it's possible that these minions will actually be able to attack again. And we see Queen Ashara come out. So now this actually makes me think that this is not Miracle Rogue, but that it's actually rather the uh, Jackpot Rogue, which is interesting. So I think I'm just going to punch into this. I feel pretty comfortable taking the 5 while I'm at 27, and then I'm going to Frost Strike again, likely into uh, Frigidara, into uh, freezing the board. I'm assuming that they're going to be playing a Colossal, and uh, the Colossal that they get is going to go a long way into determining what happens this game. Not really interested in any of these cards, to be honest. We don't need the Frigid Era. We already have one. Uh, this card is just bad. I guess I'm going to take the Horn of Winter. And could even just Howling Blast for the damage. I think I like it. Let's just put a little bit of extra damage onto our, our opponent. We can see now that they're down to 12 health. Uh, they're going to take 2 damage off of this on 6. Potentially 5 off of this. If they're able to remove our Chill Fallen Baron, we're going to be able to draw an additional card here, so... They hit Kravatoa. Um, they're still going to have the 6-5 on board, but we're not super concerned about that, I don't think. And unable to kill our opponent, uh, just because we don't have the damage. So I think we just keep to the plan. We're going to uh, play the Overseer here, and then likely just freeze the board the following turn. Um, really no other good options. I mean, we could try to draw with the Chill Fallen Baron. We're taking 10, but it's unlikely that they'll be able to kill us. And if they can't kill us, then they're going to have to uh, try to address our board here. So with our opponent at only 10 health, unless they have like a prep... A serrated bone spike to be able to actually kill maybe their own crab and a scabs we should have enough damage to be able to kill our opponent next turn um, two glacial advances plus a horn of winter and a howling blast should allow us to be able to finish our opponent so you can see again this deck we're just trying to be as fast as possible to kill our opponent and not give these rogue and uh, demon hunter decks the opportunity to uh, really be able to kill us first. So Hearthstone is kind of in a place where it's just really fast. Everybody is trying to kill their opponent as quickly as possible. That's just the most viable strategy in Hearthstone right now. So I don't mind it, but I know a lot of people are complaining about the meta. And uh, likely at some point, Blues are going to be making some balance changes here. And uh, you can see, if we don't kill our opponent, they would actually kill us on the following turn just because of the board that they've been able to present here. But... Uh, unfortunately for them, we're just holding way too much damage. And this is a perfect example of, you know, how the deck is uh, designed to play. We do damage with our minions first, and then we finish off our opponent with the damage spells to the face. That's going to do it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Uncorrupt. Good luck out on the ladder.